to the show and welcome to our annual holiday special. This is the one that we do the show for. This is the whole Yes, the whole yes. We, we've come to build our lives around our December podcast episode where oh, we I'm get excited. to make That's drinks. Right. <laughs> it is. It's very exciting. We are absolutely thrilled to be yeah. on location. Oh. <laughs> Thank you to James and Chelsea Hughes for inviting us to your home. Oh, we're so excited. <laughs> we are so excited. So you've got it beautifully set up yes. um, with some amazing drinks that you're going to teach us all to make. And we will share the recipes in the show yes, notes after, of course. But let's talk about you guys real quick first. Why? Why did we come to your house <laughs> why today? Why do you so, have all this? Yeah, why, is, why are you here? Yeah. I don't know. We, we just uh, showed up with our camera. Yeah. Yeah. We just like cocktails. We like entertaining and uh, we love cocktails. I'm a chef. Uh, I do restaurant consulting, and so you know a lot of the, the cocktails and things that I've done end up on restaurant menus. And so um, we just like to have some fun with it. We started doing the cocktails uh, on Fridays, Fridays. Uh, a couple of months ago, and literally just had some fun with it. So we're well, excited to have you guys. That's how I tracked you guys down was through yeah. those videos that <laughs> yeah. Chelsea's been posting. So um, thank you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. And then she showed we're me, and I've been to. drooling over them on Fridays now. So yeah. I'm very excited to get to experience this in person. Oh, we're excited to uh, treat you with some uh, some fun stuff today. Okay. All right, so let's yeah. just dive right in then. Yes. What? Dive in. First dive thing in. we have is uh, we do uh, eggnog. So we made our own eggnog. It's really not as hard as, as you'd think to make eggnog. It does sound daunting, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. It does. yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the nog of the egg uh, seems really complicated. It's not at all. Uh, we need to make... Is that like a professional chef's turn? Like, no, 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 egg? no, no, no it's egg. not even remotely. <laughs> but we need uh, a little bit of egg, a little bit of cream, a little bit of nutmeg, no cinnamon for you. Which, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Me with the weirdo allergy. No, yeah. I mean, hey, cinnamon. Oh, yeah. is, good good reminder, never... though, if you're hosting over the holidays, Ask because maybe you have someone yeah, like Tosh who's like, we can do other yeah, things. we've got nutmeg yeah. and all sorts of goodies. Uh, also, there, check out the glass. Can it be it's, more Christmassy than this? Glasses. And, <laughs> Why, uh, thank our kids you. Kids' favorite glasses. Yeah, so these but, are yeah, the, the National egg-nog. Lampoon glasses for those of you listening and going, yes. "What are they talking about?" <laughs> yeah. But if you look on uh, our Instagram page uh, or my Instagram page, we've got the eggnog recipe on there, and it's really not that hard. Okay. You know, yeah. Eggs, cream, milk, some spices. You know, you need about fifteen or twenty minutes, and uh, and Bob's That's right. It? Got some eggnog. Yeah. Oh my okay. goodness. Super simple. Right. Super simple. Quite Tastes honestly, nice we find it hard to find really like great eggnog. Yes, that's right. Cheers. I, oh no, I already drank. Really like, cheers the antler. So yeah. That is that is so much better than anything you buy. It's yeah. hard to find oh good eggnog. We, we miss a, a really mm. amazing um, dairy farm in BC. Avalon, that, yeah. Uh, where you get mm. amazing um, uh, kind of organic uh, homemade eggnog. And we don't get that here. And so we thought, well, let's make some. I actually well, find that, that mm. I go to Cocoa Nog more than yeah. I'll go to eggnog now. Yeah. And that's what my kids prefer too. Um, but wow. Wow. It's, really it's like five ingredients. Super yeah. simple. Oh. So good. Yeah. Even without the cinnamon. Even so, <laughs> the I usually put in. Yeah, I was gonna say. So yeah. if you're gonna spice it so up for your guests, for, free. yeah. For me, I'm a bourbon guy, so I love bourbon. Sort of oh. We're gonna do a, uh, this is a maple uh, whiskey from Quebec that we do uh, different cocktails with. Um, Fireball is also a good. You yeah. like that cinnamon flavor? Not if you're allergic. But <laughs> cinnamon uh, in the eggnog is also good. But I'm a bourbon guy, so I love a little bit of. Uh, that's I would have never thought oh. bourbon, so yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah, I haven't yeah. tried rum, it. Rum and eggnog is a, you know a classic, a classic. Uh, yeah. classic pairing and uh, yeah. spiced easy, rum, easy. I suppose, right? These are yeah. non-alcoholic, but we're gonna get into some alcohol in a, in a well, minute Well, I here. think okay. too, like when you're hosting over the holiday season, it's nice to have things that you don't have to make constantly for right. your guests. And so we tried to think through making some cocktails like an eggnog where you can make a big batch and you can make it self-serve or whatever. And then you can top up with your own alcohol. Like you can make a little like eggnog buffet and throw some cute glasses from like winners or um, chapters or whatever. Yeah. And then, um, and then you're, you're, cause when you're entertaining, you want to talk to people. You don't want to spend the whole time cooking That's and right. cocktails making cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. Trust us. We've been there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone leaves and you're like, didn't talk to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They all had a great time. Yeah. 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 So, so we wanted to think that through for your holiday season this uh, this year too, if we get to if we get to host. Yeah. If not, yeah. you and your family yourself. can have a lot of fun with this too. I love that you said an eggnog buffet, right? Because like the big thing I find right now is the hot chocolate, like charcuterie board, right? Yes. So yeah. why not for eggnog? Yeah. That makes total yes. sense. Yeah. 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 Great it. idea. Next thing we have here is a spiced apple cider, and this is alcohol-free too. Our kids love spiced apple cider, and so this mm. is um, 
Bellevo mm. Orchard uh, apple cider. Mm. With oh, some we're big fans. Yeah. Us too. We, love, we go apple picking. It's the best apples. I love it. Um, but we have oranges, cranberries, um, lots of different herbs and spices. I put fresh Ooh. sage in here, mm. uh, bay leaves, uh, no cinnamon, so we're safe there. <laughs> and, and you know what I love uh, to add is um, Calvados. So Calvados is an apple brandy from France. You know, uh, speaks to the apple in the glass. Uh, and so, Chelsea, if you want to pour some, I'll okay. uh, get some alcohol in here. And I'm just going to free pour because we got... Uh, Again, like... We're just um, having some fun with it, right? Yes. You know, if you can find yourself a fancy bowl from now. home, <laughs> it looks gorgeous. And um, and everyone can kind of help themselves. Or you can serve it once and then they can come back through and help. And then that way, you just have more time to enjoy your company. And I love how you've done the garnish on these. So for people who are listening at home, You've got like the little dried orange slice, yeah. a sprig of rosemary. Mm -hmm. This is and rosemary and um, cranberry yeah, just, on the end. Yeah, a little bit of cranberry to hold Thank it all you. together, and then we clipped uh. it. Uh, you know what else we like to do is I'm gonna light this rosemary on fire. <laughs> oh my okay. goodness! Because who doesn't like a flaming rosemary? But the reason why I'm gonna do that, so just hold it out a bit, because we want that rosemary to smoke a little. That's just part of the experience, right? It's part of the. Uh, oh my god! Come on part of the cocktail experience. Oh we have never had and this before. It. No one's set things on fire <laughs> before. I love it. Oh my goodness. We got this going still, so I'm just going to reach over and yeah. if you just hold it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. There we go. And smell that. It smells like Christmas. It does yes. smell like Christmas. It does. It's amazing. So fun. Well, what a great this idea. this is spiced apple cider, a little bit of um, Calvados apple brandy, and uh, yeah, easy peasy. Put it on your uh, counter when you have some friends over. They can kind of help themselves. And, uh, can I pour one for yeah. you? Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my. So I want to um, talk about the alcohol that you're showing. So I one thing that I have found is maybe the New Brunswick liquor stores aren't yeah. as fancy yeah. as yeah. other provinces. So do you have a hard time finding these alcohols here? We, I've been in restaurants for a long time. We have a massive amount of, uh, of alcohol, but yeah, it's really tricky to find stuff here. And so some of the products that I've used on, uh, on our Frosty Friday are available here. Some aren't, and so we do our best to try and put stuff on that's local, but it, it, it is trickier to find stuff in our AMVL here than, uh, than the rest of the country. That yeah. said, friends of ours uh, own a, a liquor um, a kind of wine and spirit store in Calgary, and they actually shipped it here. Oh, nice. Okay. We had a friend who, uh, who liked one of the cocktails uh, that we did on Frosty Friday, and they actually uh, bought 12 bottles, and they just arrived uh, yesterday yep. from, from Calgary, Willow Park Wine and Spirits. Yeah, that's amazing. Easy yeah. So if we okay. ever do anything on there, you can always get it uh, shipped from Calgary. I'm sure there's closer places, but... Uh, Oh but I think you know everything someone has it today, <laughs> you can get at MB Liquor. For sure, yeah. all of this you'll be able yeah. to find Oh, fantastic. Liquor, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah, because you know, sometimes even I can't find a wine that I'll get in Ontario, and yeah. I can't find the wine here. So yeah, it's all about allocation. Um, it gets tricky sometimes. So yeah. Well, we just have to maybe drink more here in New Brunswick, and then it'll. <laughs> and then it'll <laughs> okay. you know, is that is that how yeah, it goes? We, we yeah. drink a lot, so we do our part. But yeah. I think everyone's gonna step up their game in New Brunswick. Thank you for moving yes. back to this <laughs> province. <laughs> for doing your part. Doing our part. Yeah. Doing your part. So the next one, oh no. There's okay. someone, the next someone has one, an alarm going um, on. Uh -oh. I don't think it's me. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> it's usually me. Um, <laughs> the next one we're going to do, we're going to build. We're, we're going to build, build it. Okay. Do you guys want to help me build this? I yes, feel like of course. It's going to be uh, super fun. So we're going to yeah. do a, a cocktail called, I call coffee and s'more. Mm. And so it's a s'more I'm based sold already. Uh, yeah. coffee drink. And so uh, we've got some coffee here. We've got some house made marshmallows that I did uh, mm. this morning. We've got some uh, vanilla bean whipped cream, some That's chocolate, what that is. some oh my graham goodness. cracker, and then all the ingredients for uh, for this uh, coffee and s'more drink. Sortilage is a maple whiskey out of uh, Quebec. Okay. An amazing mm -hmm. product that we really love to use, especially around this time. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to start with, here's a jigger for you. We're going to start with okay. an ounce Am I doing this? of a jigger. sortilage. Okay. You want to get in there? Sure. Yep. I'm just so going to drink this of the uh, sortilage. <laughs> Okay. And if you do an ounce per, you can build it for each. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually, uh, before we do that, we're gonna okay. rim the glass. So I'll show you ah, one. Perfect. We're gonna rim okay. it in chocolate. <gasps> and this is the whole uh, schmore idea. And then this is uh, graham crumb, sugar, and butter. So just like you would get with an actual s'more. Oh my goodness. And Sweet, that. look at that. And so we're gonna uh, build okay. each cocktail into there. Do you wanna right. rim okay. yeah, uh, absolutely. these mugs as we go here? We do this for our kids with hot too. chocolate too. And they Such a great idea. Sport. Yeah. They yeah. Love it. They, I can only like well, like we just said with the hot chocolate charcuterie, like this is 
Yeah. This is this is up in that game, big and time. If you really want to impress yeah. the kids, you crush up some candy canes, some candy canes, canes yeah. and you put it in. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, you know. yeah. All right. That would be yeah. Especially like we were talking about earlier, our oldest kids like the peppermint hot chocolate, right? So mm -hmm. having the candy canes would be epic. Okay, but this is adult right. time. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> enough, Let's not talk about the kids. Let's not. <laughs> Feel so fancy with all the like actual proper equipment. For Oops, I'm making a mess. Sorry, guys. No, you're good. The, you are golden. That looks perfect. The <laughs> jigger, it just makes it easier when you're making cocktails because yeah. one side is an ounce, the other side's two ounce, yeah. and you can flip it back and forth. Yeah, that's fancy. Well, like and that. to have the tops to pour easily too, oh, right? You that's, get these right off Amazon, and it makes easy, life easy. easy. And they look pretty. Well, they do. Yeah. They look so festive. We're gonna go on to a half fluid ounce of this okay. in each. Another half fluid ounce. So this is creme de cacao. This is a white mm -hmm. creme de cacao, which is a chocolate liqueur. And then we'll do vanilla vodka, also a half an ounce. I think she's not listening and adding way more in there. Well, she, no. <laughs> you know the thing about she has to be half. She always I has. I do. I'm a Cape Bretoner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Can we talk about, you said your house-made marshmallows. Yeah, we made some marshmallows. So you just skimmed over that like it was nothing. <laughs> on, our, uh, on my Instagram page. It's, it's really not that hard to make, too, uh, right? to make marshmallows either. It's literally... Um, Therefore, it can't be that bad. Lots of sugar, <laughs> I've done it. vanilla, and, um, and and then just gelatin. And so uh, what, what, I posted the recipe. We'll post it onto this for you as well, but they yeah. are delicious. They're so good. You want some good marshmallows and blow away your kids are going to love these. Uh, yeah, these marshmallows. absolutely. And they look cool too. And they, you know. They do, because then they're huge and fluffy and yeah. fantastic. And then you know what's Last in them. Last thing is some mezcal. So mezcal is a oh God, smokier it. It uh, kind of uh, cousin of tequila. <laughs> so and so we this. like the smoke in here for the kind of whole s'more uh, ah. cocktail thing. Okay. okay. So just a quarter half? ounce. Quarter ounce. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, it's okay. Quite strong. Oh dear. Uh, we just want a bit of the smoke in there. <laughs> what does quarter ounce translate to in Cape Breton? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you Why? bothering? We <laughs> down it. Just that's my shoe. Didn't know what it was. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't know what that means. <laughs> Why am I measuring a quarter ounce? And I love this one. The chocolate's melting oh, down yeah. the side. It that's looks perfect. so fun and rustic. Okay. All right. As we're doing that, you maybe want to come along sure. and pour some coffee into there. I would love to. And then we're going to top it with some uh, vanilla bean whipped good. cream. And I we're going to pour some marshmallow yep. on top. This is going to be a delicious okay. coffee. So am I going, cocktail. tell me when to stop, OK? Kay. Okay. Just about uh, 2 thirds of the way up. How much coffee you like, but you want to leave enough room for uh, the whipped cream. So that's good. That's good? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, whipped cream and marshmallows. And we're using homemade marshmallows because James loves to make everything from scratch. <laughs> but, you know, if you're to recreate this, there's no pressure. Like, yeah, yeah. have them from <laughs> the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah. It does not have to it be homemade. Not. Well, because yeah. I, sometimes I read a recipe and I'm like, Mm, nope. Like, <laughs> but I have to say, anyone who knows me knows I am terrible in the kitchen. Yeah. And I made marshmallows last year. And so I have to say, yeah. they are not, they're they're not, not as scary as yeah. you think. They're way delicious. They're so yeah. good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Last thing, uh, maybe not the last thing, but one of the last things we're going to put on here is just some vanilla bean whipped cream on top. That looks amazing. It's going to sweeten it up. Also so easy to make. And is it just, just like your more. basic whipped cream? It's just whipped like, cream, a little bit of sugar, uh, and a vanilla bean that I scraped in. And so, how early this morning did you get up to make all this stuff for us? <laughs> Not that early. I mean, we were up. We, we, we had some work to do here. Yeah. Um, like, I really feel like we just like loaded a bunch of stuff on you guys. We're gonna put in a little uh, house-made marshmallow. Oh, That's beautiful. Wow. And we're gonna. And we get fire okay. again. I'm gonna back so, up so you yeah. can torch they that. Need to be, they need to be either light golden brown if you're my son, yeah. or if you're a child, she likes them burnt. Or burnt. Uh, so kind of we'll like that pumpkin pie going that. around. Yeah. 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 Now, is there a way oh that goodness. if someone didn't have a torch, that they, how would they do that at home without a torch? You could probably, well, not probably. Barbecue you lighter? These, you have barbecue lighter. <laughs> yeah. You could put these in the oven on a pan okay. under the broiler just for a See, quick See, that's sec. a much smarter okay. way than what I would have done. <laughs> just be careful. The glasses like, just will get the match after. going these next to it. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee and s'more. And so this is coffee uh, this is and s'more. Christmas in a glass. Oh my and again, you can torch it or um, broil it in the oven with homemade marshmallows, and it, right. will, it will be great. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I'm gonna that, that is one to so talk. fun. Okay. Yeah. With all I of that. Love oh yeah. Look at chocolate. that. That is so. Oh my goodness. Cheers. 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 Thank you guys. You're That's beautiful. Mm. It's so pretty. It's like all of my I'm favorite scared. things whipped into one. Yeah. 
My, I don't know if you can catch the essence of oh the beauty goodness. of this glass, but. Mm. <laughs> I think the oh dip my. chocolate is like a, a thing. Like we should be. Oh, we wow. We should be putting the, dip chocolate like, on everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On every glass mm -hmm. but, like you see, yeah, like the visual of that coming down the side yeah. of that mug is yeah. just fantastic. Oh, it, this is so good. I know. Poor Charles, our cameraman. Is, he's, he's waiting he's for his. You've got, Charles, <laughs> you're hungry. Yeah. We've got lots here for you. Also cocktails. Oh. On that note, I made some... Um, Lemon, little lemon meringue tartlet. So pate brise, a um, uh, little crust, some Swiss meringue and, uh, and lemon tart if you're interested. We've got uh, little plates there, Chelsea, if you want to help them. We've also got some cookies. Uh, so this these is, are whipped shortbread amazing. cookie with some uh, bourbon cherries. Uh, and uh, so yeah. We're, I mean, if you're gonna have coffee, Need some little things to go uh, with it, to right? dig into your coffee with you, yeah. This is the best morning of my life. <laughs> So you said bourbon cherry. Is that something you've done to the cherries themselves with your, the bourbon you love? Yes, it's a cocktail <laughs> cherry that's been uh, marinated in bourbon. So these are not kid friendly, uh, but if you like bourbon <laughs> cherries, uh, these cherries are kind of a cocktail uh, topper. And so they're uh, Thank they're you. bourbon yeah. <laughs> uh, marinated cherries. And so how do you, do you just like sit the cherries in bourbon? Is it that simple? Or that's is it, yeah, you can purchase them. I, I make them. So we just get I some cherries when they're in the, uh, the heart of summer <laughs> and we add them to some bourbon. And then throughout the year, we, we add them to cocktails. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. I love kind of demystifying some of these things that seem yeah. like so special and so luxurious. And you're like, yeah, no, you just throw them in. Doesn't need to be that there. luxurious, yeah. yeah. It's kind <laughs> well, of like pickling, is, right? But... Like you just toss it in and then a few months later it's ready to go. Mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So um, like I had mentioned, you guys uh, just recently moved back and I'm wondering when you're opening your restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy or bakery with restaurant or consulting. bar. Are, it's a lot of work to do a restaurant. We had one uh, in Calgary, but you know, we do, I do lots of different uh, menus and both food and cocktail menus for uh, for restaurants. I like doing that right now. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yeah. 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 Gusto uh, is one of the uh, local restaurants that I've done menus for. So if you go to Gusto, you'll you'll uh, be able to taste my food. And uh, that's amazing. Uh, we come back from Calgary, we did a menu there, uh, and so I have clients all across Canada. Okay. Well, yeah. then that makes more sense. Easy, but, yeah. <laughs> that said, we're working hard on potentially a restaurant project for uh, for Moncton. So oh, we'll see. We'll see. we have a lot of great restaurants, but we can we use do. some more diversity, especially with so many people moving here that are coming from big city centers that had so many more options, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and we haven't had those options, so it'll be super nice to get them here, which I think is fantastic. Or here in Riverview, mm. where um, we've got lots of space. Yeah. We just need a bit. We do have some good restaurants, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some excellent ones. Yeah. So, okay, this is oh good goodness, to know. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah, this oh, is. Oh, good, I'm glad. <laughs> we uh, have some mutual friends, and, and when, when I was discussing this yesterday with them, she was like, you should see the pressure of having James over to your house for supper. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's a, we just want to have true. fun. We like to eat, we like to cook from scratch. Yeah. Uh, these days, you go into the grocery store and everything's prepared. Everything's mm -hmm. kind of mass produced. Lots of different ingredients that aren't meant to be in those things. And so we just love to cook from scratch and, uh, and then have our friends over and it's a bit of a eat love well, language. you know? Yeah. It is yeah. definitely a love language. It's a Absolutely. Love language. You know, yeah. uh, we love to give. We love to give food to others. We have gift bags ready for you when you leave today. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's like, you know, some people like to, to create in other, be creative in other ways. And this is James's love language for sure is to, to give really food. We really do love hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, at birth, when you're a young child, you need warmth, you need, you know, love, you need food, you yeah. need something to drink. That's hospitality. That's what yeah. we do. And so uh, that's what we like to do anyways. And so um, hospitality is everything. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. You got so some I was chocolate actually... on your forehead. <laughs> 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 oh, there we go. Yeah, there such a mom move. But fantastic. so loving as well. Oh, was. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I was actually going to ask, so if you know that you have someone who likes to entertain or who likes to do this kind of stuff at home what would you suggest to gift them for the holidays whether mm -hmm. it's like barware or a particular kind of liqueur or something what would you put you know kind of on that gift list for someone who's either into this or getting into it That's after watching question. and mm -hmm. listening to this episode and going oh i need to do this yeah well you mentioned yeah. you know having all the right utensils and things mm -hmm. I, I think it's important you know part of really great cocktails is they got to be consistent lots of people think it's you know the right way to do it is free pour and that's the fun way and uh you know it's like uh, some tom cruise cocktail yeah, yeah. 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 Tom cruise cocktail and all that it's like baking though it's like a science it really, it's really is. Really you want it to taste it. good every mm. time you gotta measure it properly 
and so that's that's food, that's baking, that's uh, cocktails, in my opinion, anyways. And so you know, uh, Cocktail Kingdom, uh, Cocktail Emporium is a Canadian uh, website, Cocktail Kingdom. Uh, in the United States, they have lots of really amazing uh, mm. kind of mixing um, and kind of pre-curated kits too that you can get. Oh, like if lots of good things, someone yeah. passionate about getting started for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think Chelsea that you were into this stuff before you met James, or it just no? <laughs> no. I mean, guys, I can still like hardly boil an egg. Like I'm not. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, but I honestly, when I so James and I met in Calgary. And I grew up in Riverview, where my mom made meat and potatoes every single day. Mm -hmm. And so when I moved to Alberta, I started to really learn about food and, and different types of food from all around the world. And then James has like, you know, gallivanted the countryside with me and taught me so much about wine and food and, and cocktails and just like the whole passion behind it and stories behind it. And so... Um, you know, there's foods that I didn't even know existed that right. are like in my favorite food categories now. And so, you know, you get partnered with someone who loves it so much, you get to learn a lot, which is awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Really cool. Okay, so uh, you had mentioned a couple of times that your your um, Frosty Fridays are up. Mm. But how are people following you? Before we wrap up the show today, we need people to follow you so that they can <laughs> find these videos and make them themselves. We're having some fun with it. At <laughs> Jimmy Ian Hughes is my Instagram. Uh, we spend most of our time on, on Instagram. We do a bit mm -hmm. on Facebook, but check it out. In, uh, at Jimmy Ian Hughes okay. is my Instagram. Chelsea's is. What's yours? No idea. Chelsea Hughes. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea Hughes. I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's just Chelsea Hughes. Uh, I think yeah. it's like, <clears throat> there might be a dot in there, but we'll, 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 we'll also share that. Yep. Yep. Find the show we'll notes on there. Pickle Planet. Yep. We will have some of these recipes, links to your Instagram, all of the stuff that people are going to want to be able to do this again at home on yep. their own and to follow along to find out, yeah, what you guys are going to create next. Are you going to keep doing Fridays for a while? Are, I mean, we, uh, I've been working from home for the last roughly year, and so we've, we've got some time. We've got yeah. some time. And so we're, we do these on Fridays. It's a fun way. We invite neighbors over sometimes and uh, have some Friday cocktails. And so we're going to keep doing Lovely. it for, uh, for the foreseeable future. We've okay. got some stuff, some parting gifts for you, though. And so we've, we made some uh, eggnog. And so thank you so much for oh coming. Oh, you're this kidding is me. Guys. Yours, this so no is, cinnamon. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you guys. Also, uh, Love it. Some marshmallows. <gasps> marshmallows. So, My kids oh, are going to be yeah. so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Oh. Thank you guys so much. For and coming. remember, I just live up the street. So. You're welcome anytime. Literally anytime. You know, my in-laws aren't Fridays. that far away. Especially Fridays. Fridays around 3 p.m. You show up at our house, it's cocktail time. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Before we wrap up for the holidays, for the season, yes, the shirts that Tosh and I are wearing yeah. are festive shirts. Thank you to the tie-dye company for hooking us up with these sweaters for the season because we've both been living in them. They're living the most them. comfortable thing. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, and I'm you can pretty still... sure I'm going to be festive all year round. Yeah. <laughs> festive AF. Uh, as, as, as frosty. As yes. frosty. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, so you can check them out. They have far more than a Christmas collection. Uh, you can go and get them. And the best part is they're locally made, which is absolutely fantastic. Thanks again, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so it was much. So fun. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.